Some sailors at a U.S. Navy base in California got quite the surprise when a dog, previously thought to be lost at sea, walked right up to the base. Now a dog owner can be reunited with the friend he thought he'd lost forever. Abby Alford with KFMB in San Diego has the story. This was an unforgettable reunion, not just for civilians, but the commanding officer admits it too. Although the dog's owner is out of town tonight, his best friend was here to take her home. We could see that she liked her belly rubbed and she was hungry, but we may never know what really happened on that island for five weeks. One and a half year old Luna cradles her daddy's best friend since she was lost at sea five weeks ago. This is not a day that we thought would ever happen. On February 10th, about two miles off the coast of San Clemente Naval Auxiliary Landing Field, her owner Nick Hayworth told the Navy as they were bringing in the nets on the Elizabeth H, Luna was there. The next moment she was gone. Her owner thought she swam to shore, so he called the Navy, but she couldn't be found. She had like her own personal Southern California Iditarod out there. After two Two weeks, her owner thought he lost her forever. Until Tuesday, five weeks after Luna went missing, Navy biologist Melissa Booker found her on the side of the road on San Clemente Island and called the owner. I can't believe they found my dog. I can't believe they found my dog. Even the commanding officer for Naval Base Coronado couldn't believe it. I didn't think this was when I signed up, when I became the CO. I never thought that this would happen, but this was definitely a good story. A little malnourished and a bit shy, this energetic pup has been cleared for any diseases and given a token by the Navy. And it says keep the faith for Luna. One thing we may never know is her story during her five-week adventure. Uh, I think she's got a couple stories for the grandchildren. Luna went home with her dad's best friend Connor Lamb tonight. She will then be reunited with her dad tomorrow when he returns from Arizona.